Hello and good morning. My name is Cody, also known as Just Two Eyes, and that is my counterpart, Graham. Well, it's kind of leading to that. Whatever. And this is a video about beauty in America. It's the best name I could come up with for the general topic of what I'm covering. Personally, and in my opinion, it's, it's a shame. It's kind of sad how... Uh, culture and media uh, is shown to us to make us want to be perfect to make us want to be this or that to fit in to feel like we need to make it and the shows that we have here in America is just it's a shame I mean all of these talent and beauty shows to you know try to make these people mostly women feel like if you don't look this way you're not going to make it if you don't look this way there's no way you can win you know what I mean what's wrong with being yourself what's wrong with um, being naturally beautiful I mean everybody is naturally beautiful in my opinion I love the way people look naturally toddlers and tiaras is a thing I mean what is that about even if the show is 100% fake and all of the little girls know it it still has some it still has to have some effect on their mind state as they grow to see that this is the world that they kind of grew up in and then to find out that they are going to be known for this throughout their lives or at least the majority of their lives it has to mess you up somehow it has to put you in that mind state that I have to be like this if I'm going to be in the public eye because that's the only way that they're going to accept me and then I don't know if you've ever seen that show go look at it go YouTube it right now just put it up there in the search bar Tyler's and Tiara any episode just, just take a few minutes to look at it it's fucked up, right? These girls don't even know about puberty and you're putting them through all of this? Come on. And then the way our culture pushes us to be a certain way, whether you're black, white, or whatever else in the mix, we are shown through the way we're grown up of how uh, the best way to make it is. And you know, that does have a lot of influence on people, especially the younger people, how when you look at of people in the media, people who's making it, people who's successful. Do they look, do they look like people like me? No, they don't. This lovely young lady right here, she's my good friend, and she looks amazing to me. She does, she looks gorgeous, she looks great. She just got off work, she's tired, but she still looks good, but not into the public's eye, not into the culture of media. She's still supposed to look like this, and that's sad. I mean, come on now. I honestly, I mean, you can't expect to push people like that, you know, when they already have a full plate of doing everything else. I mean, yes, take care of yourself. Make sure that you're healthy. Make sure, you know, that you don't have any heart problems or high cholesterol or anything like that. But to the point where they almost make it seem like they want or need people to be a certain way if they want to succeed in life is sad. Another friend of mine, wonderful gentleman, he looks very just woken up out of bed and I like that look he looks great but the way the commercials play it the way the advertisement plays it uh men around his age are supposed to look like this yeah yeah you're not supposed to look any type of way you're supposed to look presentable at all times sad this beautiful young lady another friend of mine she's cute as a button love her to death but by cultural media standards no no, by the way the public would perceive her, she's not going to make it anywhere. You know, she's going to have to get a temp job or somewhere else like that, work behind a desk. She's not going to be on the main stage trying to do something with her life. No, because that's not how people see it when they look at TV. Because they want people to be beautiful. They want people to stand out. They want people to be perfect. And I don't know why. It's sad. And like I said before, I like natural beauty i love skin blemishes and imperfections and bumps and curves and and just everything about a person and how they naturally look i think that's gorgeous i love the dimples i love the the moles i love the marks i love the all of it i love all of it and maybe i'm saying this because of the way i look i mean don't get me wrong i'm not like tv gorgeous handsome i mean i am awfully sexy though you know I'm, i do look good but and it's basically the point of this whole video is that you need to think highly of yourself before you put other people in front of how you look you can't depend on everyone you go through meet throughout your day or even your close loved ones you can't always depend on them to make you feel good about yourself because it's you 
who you need to feel good about. Have you ever noticed that before? This little thing on my nose? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's me. I've had people try to, you know, pop as if it was a zit. No, that's just my nose and I kind of like it. You know, it took me a while, but I like it. But I love myself, I do, I really love myself. And I love my friends, which is why I'm so happy that they gave me these pictures and I was allowed to kind of, you know, bash on them a little bit. You're beautiful, but you know what I mean. You get what I was going for. It's just long story short, if this gets anywhere out there, don't let culture and media and people define who you are and how you should feel about yourself. You should never do that. I mean, you come first. You prize yourself first. You put yourself up on that pedestal. You say to yourself, damn, you look good today. Now go out there and do something. So if you like what I'm doing, you want to see what else I'm doing, like, share, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. I really want to know. So, yeah. The reach around.